Hello everyone and welcome to Beast Battle Simulator Invitational 2017. I'm here with Amy and we are about to uh we are about to cast the high octane prehistoric action. Amy, how do you feel about this game? Right, Amy is now a Tyranidan. Good, good. You're uh you're getting psyched for the match, I can tell. Alright, let's see what we got here. These are two vicious competitors that we have here today. Uh, so what do you know about, uh, while they get into it here, what do you know about uh, the prehistoric Beast Battle era. Simulator? Yeah, well that too. Well I can tell you one thing for sure, the dinosaurs did never happen. Ah! What in the name? No! Right, because the Earth is only 2,000 years old. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. It's all an illusion <laughs> to distract you from the real Jesusaur. That's a Jesusaurus. Okay, look, it, they're on the map. <laughs> they're on the map now. This looks strangely similar to a previous Invitational that we may or may not have done in the right, past. Right, I just have a collection of stupid simulators. It, se it seems like this may <laughs> have been one of, make you play. one of Laser Corn's finer choices in life. Once again. Yes, it yes it is, Amy Lynn Rabbit. Now, they're kind of on a frozen lake here, similar to uh, what we saw in Game of Thrones. Do you think we'll see any White Walkers? Any White wait, Walkers? Wait, hang on. <laughs> Did you see the latest episode? I actually have never Shit, seen I just Game of Thrones it. ever. Well, so not for me, but for you guys. Haha, -ha, spoilers. Right. Uh, we should continue, but first, what what's wrong with you? Excuse why you? Don't, why don't you watch Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones is not a good show. But I don't want to be in your Contract. presence at all. Wow, that it is, is, a, it is an amazing, brutally, phenomenal show. Brutally honest. Let's get back to right, Beast we should focus on, Battle like, Simulator. It looks like, Here we are. well, we haven't really missed much because Pam wanted to do Spinosaurus, but then put her Spinosaurus away. So uh, what, is, uh, what is round one's uh, cap going to be? That's an excellent question. Uh, I think uh, 10K is the starting cap for this round. Probably, maybe. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Triceratops, uh, of course, named for Sarah Tops. Sarah Tops. Who tried the for years to find one and died. Uh, died trying to find a Triceratops, but they named it after her. Look, they put lasers on the thing's head. So there, oh, there yeah, we're doing a yeah. thing. Yeah, there's the, there's the, yeah. Yeah. Wait, why aren't you playing this game? What? I, it wouldn't be fair. All right, so uh, Pam here putting a T-Rex, or so Inky here putting a cannon on a T-Rex. And oh, wow, and what, is it just what is that that he put on his head? Is he really going for that? Is that a red dot sight on the T-Rex's head? No, what is that going to do I believe from that that's range? actually a flamethrower. A flamethrower. And that'll okay, do nothing so from that upgrading. range. He's got to get in close. Yeah, and I don't know what his plan is with the uh, Stegosaurus. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to get it in among those penguins there. It's just going to yeah. trample the penguins, though. You know, when Stegosauri you... and uh, penguins are natural enemies. They just don't... Uh, Again, yeah. yeah, that. They don't do that. They don't. So there's no point in putting them together. Uh, yeah, he should spread them out more. Pick your units already. <laughs> I know. So Hinky is uh, stalling for time as he just Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. And, oh, and we're in. And we're in. And the battle has begun. Oh, suicide oh, penguins going forward. Annihilation. The flamethrower wow. is wiping out the, uh, the Velociraptors, yes. Velociraptors. Oh, but some of them have escaped the, the fiery doom. He's thrashing about. It looks like the T-Rex is just about taking out all the raptors. And oh, is over this on the Triceratops other side. going to save the day? And we have know. a. Is that Tice? Wait, wait. Oh, Pam's Raptors are turning around. And now with the Triceratops, they're going for the Oh, and that looks like that might be game if so hinky. Oh, no! the T-Rex explodes the blood. It's over. Wait, 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 wait. What is the Triceratops still shooting at? You Hang know, on. To be honest, I can't tell which dinosaur belongs to who at this point. The Triceratops point. is on Pam's side. I know because I. Yes! Hey! And Pam is one just finishing off. And you know uh, what? I wouldn't penguin. expect anything less penguin. from the uh, Tabs Invitational right. winner. She, she is a battle simulator master. She thinks in like game engine format. I'm pretty sure her thoughts are all binary. If you looked into her brain, it would be like looking into the Matrix. Pretty much a computer. She can simulate uh, any scenario except how to get from the, the menu into the game. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're having a little bit of trouble. Actually, I think that would there be so hinky. On oh, that's so hinky navigating. Once again. That's right. Yep, well that would explain that. <laughs> and it looks like uh, this next match is going to be a soccer match, uh, completely allowed. Uh, the, the old soccer switch up uh, allowed here in the 
the Beast Battle Simulator Invitational. And okay, T-Rexes. Uh, All right, but still keep in mind that while this is a soccer field, the main goal still is total annihilation of the opponent's uh, prehistoric beings. Uh, well, that's not. Am I completely wrong? That's not true on a like on a factual level, but on it's a true factual in, in level, here. but it is uh, true in my bloodthirsty heart. Yes. Uh, but it is true in my bloodthirsty heart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> here on this map, uh, you're trying to put the ball in the goal. Oh, so it actually like is correction. Right. A game of soccer. Right, but you can also kill things. Do that, but you know this is a high tech simulation and they might decide to just go for the, the bouncy ball. And then, so this is an interesting strategy by Sohinki. The T-Rex has very small arms and almost no hands. But so for soccer, arms are... Exactly, so I'm thinking it'll be near impossible to get a handball penalty called on these T-Rexes. Ah, I see. Brilliant observation, El Corno. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Are those uh, mini Triceratops in yeah, what the are background those? that we see? Or are those... Uh, Biceratops? I believe Looks that's like what they are. Two two horns yes. confirmed. Biceratops, uh, known for their two horns and uh, choosing either gender for mating. Oh, interesting choice for uh, Pam's side to go aerial. aerial. Units. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very interesting for the uh, soccer field. However, the Biceratops, I can't help but think that perhaps, just perhaps, they may be able to prong the soccer ball and bring it home. Or deflate it. Which is not a penalty, according to the rule book. Yes. We're you cannot discriminate against things that grow out of your head. Uh, is the full name? All right, oh my so god, the match we have begun. begun it. And oh wow, that Spinosaurus instantly went down. Those guys, not, oh wow, and that Triceratops is stuck. Looks like the aerial is actually working in Pam's advantage. Yeah, they are die bombing oh, well, the ball. Oh, you may have spoke too soon though. Yeah, that pterodactyl's like down. More like die bombing. Because <laughs> <laughs> it died. Yep, uh, super dead. Oh wow, and those T yeah, Rexes advancing, and shooting lasers. It, the T Rexes wow. are shooting in the wrong direction. Oh, wow, that... oh, but they have spun things around. The soccer ball is so close to. Oh, goal! That's goal. goal. That is goal for the Sohinki team. Yeah, Sohinki takes one, uh, one point. And, oh, we are going directly instant, into the second match. Replay? No, no, this is directly into the second match. So they have teed off again. That's what they say when they both kick at the ball, right? Teed oh off. yeah, tee, teed off. I do believe that is a golf term, but we will accept it here for today's Invitational. All right, Pam's uh, pterodactyl is on fire, but it's trying. It's trying its little pterodactyl heart out to get the ball going in the right direction. You really got to oh, wow, appreciate the gumption of that pterodactyl and it's dead. All right, moving on. Uh, the Biceratops also dead. And those T-Rexes, uh, once again, oh, but it looks like they're lighting themselves on fire. Yes, and they're also directing the ball in the wrong direction. Can That's they true. spin this one around? They spun it around once more. And uh, Pam, oh, wow. It looks like, is the that? The head of that Biceratops. Is that oh, actually That's actually just a bloody stump. Just a, just a bloody stump. Bloody, Didn't really need bloody to see dino that. Yeah, pieces. Okay. And, and that yeah, is there we go. goal for goal the second two. time. Pam is not looking too happy no. with this loss on her And end. here we go. Here we go. The third round and they here. they are just replaying this for a third time. These are the same dinosaurs. They must right. really believe well, the dinosaurs, in exactly. The dinosaurs oh, played Oh, and that is a oh. fast and swift takedown for that's, So Hinky. That is 3-0. Yeah, that pterodactyl hit the ball into his own goal at the end. You have yep. to imagine uh, that Terry is going to be cut for the team for that. Right. Absolutely. I don't think that we'll be seeing him in next era's draft. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next round. I think we're done with the sports, and we're going back to well, going the map's back called to Warzone. Warzone, yes. So we can, and so we can we expect do, full on war. We can expect a, a strong comeback from Pam's side. I am rooting for her. What she did in tabs was clearly fantastic, and let's just hope that she can bring it back after that incredibly terrifying defeat uh, with Sohinki and the flame-throwing Tyrannosaurus Rex size. I do remember that, yes. It was uh, it was terrifying. I would not have- It was also two yeah. minutes ago. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh in my memory. Fresh in my memory now, as well. Now, uh, and yeah, the caps here uh, have gone up slightly as, as a standard, but oh my, is that what I think Wait, it is? Do you no, see it? No, no, no. It can't be, it just happened. It can't 
It just happened in the last invitation. We can't be seeing him again. That it is. The, oh, wait, no, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. oh, wait. No. Oh, no. It's a capybara. Shh, that's what is it doing here? That's strange. You know, yeah. and that doesn't affect the game no, at all. No effect. I have no idea no. what it's doing. I, you know, so I actually weird. can't believe that we mistaked that for the increased armadillo, armadillo yeah. at all. That's, yeah. that's our bad. Sorry, uh, mighty increase armadillo. Terribly unprofessional. Yeah, our mistake. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Pam here loading up some brachiosaurs with head cannons. Inc oh, wait, no. Head Are they souped up? to the no. max. It looks like they have two on both sides, a back and a head yeah. mount. Yeah, so those are going to be dual uh, Gatling guns, a cannon, and a, uh, I think a flamethrower on Oh, the and it looks like uh, El Corno is in the background clearly trying to sabotage the <laughs> Like no, that's real. a guy that looks like me. How could I be in the background if I'm right here? Uh, what what, what on so earth is so hinky dude? Dogs, dogs. Those aren't dogs. Are those really dogs? Those are clearly dogs with oh, an yeah, HP dog. of five and a damage of five. Why would you send all those poor dogs to their death? It's not looking too hot for those dogs or so hinky. No, I don't. I can't imagine this ending well. He's at a unit count of over 700 dogs. Oh wow! And now we're and on the possibly of laser corn. breaking yeah. laser corns. Uh, yeah, setup. I don't think my graphics card could actually handle that many dogs. Uh, you know what? My computer might just burst. You know what? I think your doppelganger in oh, the look. background may yeah. have agreed, and that's why he was checking on the oh, yeah. PC to see what was up with that. Yeah, I think he was probably pretty angry. That that random concerned citizen that mm -hmm. was not me. All right. It oh, no, it like looks like he might be switching things up. He's going with copies, but again, putting way too many units. <laughs> so many units. In fact, and I thought he was creating this is why his parents a, don't uh, love him. Well, that can't, that, that's too personal. What? Well, it was personal when he started crashing my computer. This is true. Your this mom told true. me. Your mom told me. She All right, so what do you think your chances are here with the uh, the raptor the raptor raid yeah. against the? Oh, it looks what like it started, and unfortunately, <laughs> Laser Corn's PC doesn't seem to be able <laughs> to catch up. If any PC companies out there this. would like to sponsor me, I guess I'm in the market for a new PC because <laughs> mine can't run this game. Well, at least well, this not is with a, that ample many. time for us to cast what is happening, and basically, it looks yeah. like. A wave of compies is coming at uh, is coming at Pam's army, and that is a lot of compies. I don't know if she's gonna. It's just pretty much a dinosaur tidal wave at this point. I don't know if I she's going to be able to withstand it. I don't think it's doing much other than tickling the underbellies of the bronchiosauri. Yes, the bronchiosauri. The bronchiosauri. Yes. Those cannonballs, though, also not doing much. Kind of just firing into random directions. Yes, I've been uh, I've been told that the bronchies are slightly blind. Oh my and goodness! Whoa, one of the bronchiosaurs has exploded. Oh my god! Another the, one. The raptor raid. Yeah, well, they're compies, and enough compies apparently can wear down these larger dinosaurs. And oh my god, Jesus! Just a horde of. And look at the sad, sad face on that brachiosaur. Absolutely oh, a that massacre. face he's making is terrible. And look dark at all of the wins. organs. Dark wins. Yes. Dark the, meat. <laughs> the dark side is one. <laughs> Lots of And dark look at that meat. guy. He's smiling. He's happy. He amid knows the, what happened. Amid the organs. He's pretty, he's pretty pleased with himself. All these guys. Pretty yep, happy that little guy, fellas. Very happy. They're going to celebrate happy. tonight. Victory dance for all. Yeah. Yep. So now the score is probably tied or something. Or something. Yeah. yeah. And we're probably heading into the last match. And if... If Sohinky <laughs> puts one more giant swarm of things down, I'm going to. Will punch he him raise in the, face. the unit count to 300? Oh, I hope they pick s the Colosseum. No? Nope. nope. Sunset. Not even A close. nice, peaceful sunset. And here we go. What we can only hope is the final match. <laughs> okay, some Triceratopsis. We know Pam There's likes the Triceratopsis. Actually, correction, those might be the Biceratops. It looks like they have a third little horn on their nose. Mm -hmm. ah. Where's the third horn on a Triceratops? So it's two up here, and then it's a horn on the nose, right? And then it's two up here, and then it's a unicorn horn. No, they don't like have the this. unicorn horn. Incorrect. Well, dinosaurs don't exist either way, so all of this is hypothetical. <laughs> That's right, I forgot. Your uh, your personal beliefs don't allow you <laughs> to acknowledge the existence of dinosaurs. <laughs> all right, so it looks like, wow, those are some heavily armed T-Rexes backed up by Triceratops. Now, do you think the uh, Triceratops fire is going to hit those T-Rexes? She did put the shorter units there in There is the chance of friendly fire and, of course, the prickly pears. 
Right, prickly pears, also known as Ankylosaurus, uh, <laughs> entering the battlefield. Oh no, they're called club tails. Club tails. In, in this game. Interesting, because they always be up in the club. That's probably how they got their name. Yeah, just nod your head instead of shaking it. All right, some raptors. Some clever I was gonna say, girls. Pam looks like she has a really strong chance here. She is like, upgrading every single dinosaur <laughs> on the battlefield. I like what she's packing. I'm not, uh, her her choice of units is great. I'm not entirely sold on her formation. Like I said, putting the shorter units in back where they could possibly hit the T-Rexes. And don't forget, she still does have about 10 dogs on the field. Right, that that will probably factor in. Seems like Someone we're uh, Seems like we're all going to the club in today's match. Oh yeah, they are clubbing. So he yeah, really likes heart. to just pick one unit and put way too many of them on the map. That seems to be his strategy, mm -hmm. and I really hope he gets beaten for it. So Hinky is following the same suit and upgrading every single dinosaur on his That's place a lot of cannons. as well. Yeah. But is that enough cannons? No such thing as enough cannons. A-U-M-C, Amy. Always, Always use, use more, more heroes. Oh. A-U-M-C. C. Hero starts with an H. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. The mat. Oh, and here we go. And it started. Oh, the oh, elephant yeah. trips over in the very beginning. Oh and my God, that T Rex just immediately. Wrecked those, he wrecked those club tails. He came in from the side. He's flanking. Wow, those T Rex is doing a lot of damage. And Pam's the forces. are oh, working Pam's really forces well in the win. Back. Congratulations. A decimating victory. Wow, Pam so is much totally setup excited. for so little action at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was over so quickly. And it looks like, are they exiting or are they gonna do a retry? Pam clapping for herself, very good, Pam. Absolutely. We're, we're over here clapping for you too. Yes, we are oh, going it looks like they're to gonna the do Coliseum. One more. Looks like we're this not. This is the last stand. We're not quite All done yet. All or nothing. Let's see how much time we got. In the despair. Okay, yeah. This is definitely going to be the last match. Let's see what they bring to the table with such a small and confined space. Oh shoot! Looks like Sohinky might be nearing. It looks like he topped off at his 20k limit already. Yeah. Now it's interesting that Sohinky placed first because he is behind now in this match with that last victory Pam took, and Pam's now getting to react to the formation and uh, you know counterattack. And it looks like she's going with she the- She is loyal to the Triceratops. Yeah, T-Rex is up front, uh, Triceratops in the back, you know, Pimps up front, Hose in the back, and it's just a strategy that's been working for her. And it looks like she's just gonna keep right on doing it. Well, I don't know, like I said, going for just one unit, not really safe. You want a variety of units in case your unit gets hardcore countered by uh, one of the units on the other side, like we saw last time. Mm -hmm. So that might just happen not to get a so Not good for so No. Uh, if I were to be, if I were a betting man, and I am, and I would like to bet you, uh, I would bet five dollars on Pam. Uh, well, I would also bet you five dollars, uh, or my port gyoza on Pam. Oh, okay. So unfortunately, there will be no betting tonight, as right. neither of us. Oh, and here we go! Here we go! Oh, oh my that goodness! Is Those T Rexes are wrecking the Spinosauruses. Oh my goodness! Those Spinosauruses. Went or down so like he, little he bitches. Is not looking happy at wow. the at the match. In fact, he has replayed it because he just could not believe his eyes. He thinks it's some sort of glitch or error. But indeed, that is just true skill coming out of as, Pam's formation. As yes, uh, Pam once again proves herself the tactical genius of the group here, and uh, she can not I'll be defeated. Oh, win one more time. <laughs> yeah, just to make really sure. Yes, you have lost. Yes. 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 It's over. It's over. Stop replaying the it's scenario. It's over. Why do you want to relive this moment where you lose over and over, over again? And over <laughs> and over. He's now trying to change some of the variables. Over. And I'm pretty sure this is not how the game works. Yeah, no, he's lost already. All right, thank you for joining <laughs> us. Uh, so Hinky's going to stay trapped in this moment of defeat yes. for at least, I'm guessing, another hour. Yes. Uh, but we're going to go. We have delicious food waiting for us. And we'll see you all next time here on uh, Bad Esports. Bad Esports. E sports. Bad e sports. Thanks for watching that, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to check out last week's Bad e sports when we played Floppy Heroes. Also, be sure to check out when we got to play Assassin's Creed Origins early at the pre Gamescom Ubisoft event. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see all of our goodies. Bye!